Good morning, good morning everybody. More than fishing here. I'm here now with Daniel Philosophy D. You guys know him. We're here now for uh for striped bass, hopefully. The tide is really good. It's incoming tide. Yeah, hopefully we catch our big striped bass today. I'm hoping because actually this is my is this our this is our first time uh, going out together? We went to a boat. Yeah. Once with Ish with fish, fish. yes. Together, but not, not, here. not, not on the surf. Not so, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, this is this guy's my luck today. Cause I've been, I'm telling you guys, I've been trying to catch a striped bass, but uh, I don't have much luck. Like yesterday, I went out yesterday. I tried some uh, underwater shots, or underwater footage, and unfortunately, I lost my camera. <laughs> but anyways, I'm back in the surf with Daniel and hopefully we catch our big fish. Yeah. Alright Daniel. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. It's it's really cold right now guys. I'm freezing cold. So this is so this spot right here is really nice. I like it, I like it. It's there's a deep hole right here and hopefully there's a there's striped bass hanging out here. All right, first cast, guys. First cast. Uh, well, almost hit the bird. <laughs> There's a lot of birds flying around, but they're not really feeding or they're not diving at all. This is what I'm using right now. This is the uh, Chartreuse Mickey Jig, and with a ow, 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 with a feather, white feather trailer. This is an ounce and a half. Hopefully, we'll catch one with this. Pretty nice weather. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. But hopefully, there's a fish down here. Our goal today is to really break that personal best. And also, we'll try our popper today. There's two goals, guys. There's two goals. Break my PB and caught a fish on a popper. On a papa. I'm gonna use that later. There's a side wash. That means the water is pushing my lure towards my right side. There's a current moving towards my right side. So each time I cast my lure, my lure getting pushed out to my right side. So I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cast it over here so that I land it right in front of me. So, yep. Left side cast. Good and retrieve a little bit fast on this uh, lure because this lure is really heavy uh, it, and it doesn't go on top of the water too when you reel this one fast it will just swim like this or it swims side to side my ear is numb right now I don't know it's only like uh, I don't know what degree is like 55 but it's really cold for me I know it's not that cold compared to East Coast guys. We're we're babies here, we're babies. <laughs> but hey, it's summer guys. We never have a summer here. <laughs> it's always winter here in San Francisco. <laughs> oh seaweeds. Alright, first catch right here guys, first catch. <laughs> Where is that lure? Are you found it? Found it. That's the right way. Got it. Got it. So right now I'm gonna be on the papa, the banana color here, banana. This is from Super Strike lures, and we'll see this. Yeah, let's go. The water condition right now is kind of rough, so uh, using the popper or the top water lure is kind of. Uh, not really a suggested idea or I don't know it, correct me if I'm wrong okay for those who's watching right now correct me if I'm wrong leave a comment below is it is it advisable to use a top water lure with this kind of condition it's, it's kind of rough because I heard people that tell me the best thing to use a, a lure a top water lure is on a calm water and, and a flat surface but with this kind of condition I don't know We'll see, because I just really, really want to catch a fish on a popper. All right, I'm gonna try this. I'll give this probably a 10 cast, 
And if I catch, if I don't catch anything, I don't hit anything, we're gonna switch back to the Mickey jig. Okay, let's go. All right, this is so nice, man. I just, I just like watching this lure swims. It just, the, the action is really, really nice. So I'm gonna cast for the last cast, and I will switch it. This is the, la the last cast, guys. And we'll switch back to make it jig. Ha! Ah, again, nothing. Nothing on this lure. I guess I have to commit on a, on a day. I did, I did try one time. I just went out on the beach and cast this lure for two hours and no fish. So I actually had the different color too, the white and the green. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll get there someday. We'll catch a fish on this soon, this season, okay? But for now, I'm gonna switch up to a Mickey Jake. Ah. There, that's a good spot to cast it. Come on, fishy, let's go. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Nice, nice. Woo, there you go. Woo. First fish, first fish. Let's go. Uh, let me fix my camera. I don't want to lose this. Uh, okay, good. Look at this. Striped bass, baby. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Striped bass. <laughs> Woo -wee. On that metal jig, chartreuse collar. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, nice hook set right there. Nice hook set. Oh, look at that stripes pattern. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, oh, oh. shoot. Look at that fish. This is probably a 26 inches right here. Or 25. I'm not gonna measure it. But I'm assuming this is just 20 inches right here or 25 inches. Look at that guys. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that folks. Look at that beautiful fish. The stripe is kind of kind of messed up. <laughs> so I don't know why the, he, the stripe is like that. It's all crooked. It's not a straight stripe. I think I will call this uh, a dotted spotted <laughs> spotted striped bass or spotted bass <laughs> look at that beautiful fish all right let, let me uh let him go i'm gonna do an underwater shot on this philosophy d right there look at that bro no. look at that Dude. look at the stripe it's the pattern is kind of i know it's different it's, it's different, different. Like i don't know why hybrid, yeah it looks like a hybrid so for those of you guys that are watching this let us know what's the difference between the straight pattern and the i don't know what do you call that yeah. all right right here right here that should be it oh there you go Ooh, there you go where is he where is he <laughs> <laughs> it's gone it's gone all right first fish of the day guys first fish of the day yeah yep we're here now guys we're catching fish i hope we catch more the water is warm it's probably it's probably 65 degrees right now in the water it's warmer than the temperature outside that's why i guess the, the, the fish is out during this month because of that temperature the water temperature and also the bait fish that uh, comes every year the striped bass here in san francisco here or here in the bay area it's not really a native um, fish or species here. It is transported by folks from East Coast way back 19 or 1879. If you guys know a story about striped bass here in San Francisco or here in the Bear area, 
Let us know in the comment section below. Tell us your story. I heard that the striped bass here before was way back 19, let's say 2000 or 20 years ago. I'm hearing a lot of story. I'm seeing a lot of pictures of striped bass that, that being caught here in the Bay Area. And they were saying that, you know, we usually catch a big striped bass here. And uh, now they're gone, I don't know. And uh, I like to believe that it's being overfished. And, uh, but if you guys know anything about striped bass populations here in, in Bay Area or anything that we have to know, please let us know in the comment section below. Please write it down. All right, guys, that is it for today. It was a good fishing day. It is okay. It is a good day. I don't know. For me, every time I go out fishing, it's always a good day. Before I end this video, I would like to make an announcement for all the fishing YouTubers out there. I'm going to have a fishing tournament with prizes and giveaways, okay? And the first prize, the first place for that is Van Stahl. It's a v, uh, VM150. And I would like to thank Van Stahl, Craig Cantalmo for supporting this tournament. And also JNH Tackle. Thank you, Josh. So again, I am inviting all the fishing YouTubers out there to join us for a fishing tournament. It's a free admission. No need for any entry fees. Email me and we'll see you out there. Yes. Again, thanks for watching guys and I hope you like this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Keep fishing out there. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. It's not just fishing. It's more than fishing. Yeah. <laughs>